What's good, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. Now, check this out, folks. You know, today is that day of that big game, right? So when you think about big games, what you think about? You think about having them appetizers. And for us on the West Coast and probably everybody else throughout the country, you guys think about having them wings on deck, right? Hey, listen, so this is the copycat recipe, you know, from Wingstop. Just finna show you just how easy it is to make. Listen, this is just a Louisiana rub wing. You know what? Really just a dry rub. Look, we gonna... Uh, Put them in the deep fryer. We're gonna get them nice and crispy, but we're gonna keep them juicy in the middle. But right now, I'm not gonna over talk it, folks. We finna get it. Okay, so listen, if you guys come on in here, look, I'm gonna show you something right now. Look, obviously we got the chicken right there, but I wanna show you, everybody asks me this question, like, okay, like people that are new, they say, hey, how do I simplify and take the mystery out, right? I'm gonna say it works like this. It's really just using a little common sense on my part. What I did was I used these bowls. I see everybody starting to use the bowls now because it keeps it super simple, right? So listen, if we're going to take these, these already been cleaned, right? So all I'm going to do is make sure they pat it dry, put those in there. But look, I want to coat them because they're going in the deep fry. They really like a, a just a, a dry rub wing, right? So I'm going to take these seasonings. That's my salt, these, my pepper, the Creole kick. We're going to season those in here and then we're going to go there. But check it out. This right here is my rub. I'm going to put all this in the bowl, and then once they come out of there, while they're nice and hot, we're going to toss them so they get that flavor. Super easy. Now, let's just go ahead and do this. I'm going to take my napkin, because after I clean these already, look, I just want to make sure we got all of the water off of there. You know? So I'll do this. I'm not going to bore you guys, but we're just going to stick them in this bowl right here. Okay, so look, everything is in here, right? I'm going to go ahead and start with my salt. Now this is a lot of chicken, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna give it three pinches of, they generous pinches of salt. All right, now I'm gonna come with my black pepper. Now this guy, this is up to you guys. You guys know that I like to use a lot of black pepper in everything. This would be like some of the tricks because people are always trying to guess like, hey, what is that? But I just wanna let you know, black pepper takes on a different taste once it, you know, really takes on a different taste once you get that smoky smoke on it. But this right here, when you put some heat on it, it does. Now. Let me just go ahead and do that. And then last but not least, this right here ain't really copycat, but listen, this is fire. When I do wings, I always put a little Creole kick on there. And I'm gonna back up from it, because when you got it, it's dang sure gonna make you, you know, sneeze. You wanna make sure you get some flavor on there, right? So now we just gonna, you, it might look like a lot, but once we get this all mixed up and it transfers to each different piece, you'll see it's not as much. Now, I got my deep fryer next to me. It's already ready, ready to go. And that's up to you guys how you wanna do this. You ask me, I like to use about 375, anywhere between 375 and 350, you know, but closer to 375 is where these are at right now for my oil temperature. Let me just go ahead and bring my basket up. This is real simple. And I'm gonna tell you why I like using the, you know, recipes like this because look, they make for great game day, you know, appetizers. Meaning, you can make these throughout. You can be watching that game and just dunking wings. I really want to say, if you can find wings, you know? So, just like that, take this, we drop them in, and we let them work. Now that we have those in the deep fryer, let's just go ahead and put all our ingredients here. Right, real easy. And then just go ahead and get your whisk and you just wanna mix this, you know, the best you can get it. Now, let's check on them wings real fast. Look at that right there. Ooh wee, they almost ready. Let me get my meat thermometer and check them and then we go from there. Let's look at that color right there. Oh yeah, that's what we want. Take these and what we do is we just put them in here like that. Now, I didn't put a whole lot in here in the very beginning because, you know, I'm doing that for the video, for, you know, purposes. But I'm going to be honest with you, when I make them, you know what, we just make these and we just make them. We just crowd the basket, just make sure none of them stick. But you can see that color right there. That's it right there, folks. Okay, so you see these like that? Look, I'm going to do these like this. You know what I mean? Because I want to get them coated, you know, while they hot. But this is it right here. Just get these going. 
you know what I mean? And then when you take them, now I could use a little bit more. Anything that's left will go into the next batch, right? So we just get them like this. Now, I'm gonna take them and let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna toss them. Now I'll just go ahead, just while they're nice and hot, start sprinkling them. And then we don't do nothing but do the same thing we did before. Once we get it all in here, then we just toss. And then we finna take a taste test, folks. But now you guys can see just how easy it is to make these. And you can see how this just like turns everything upside down. So when you say level up, this is what I mean, level up. Make these throughout the whole entire game. I got them plated, look, I am starving, folks. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these flats. Hey, before this whole shortage of the wings, I used to be able to go to the store and get myself, uh, you know, just like get myself two or three pounds of just, you know, all flats. They've been hard to find like that. But anyway, look, I'm not finna ramble. We finna go ahead and taste, folks. <laughs> mm. Mm. This is what I'm talking about. Hold on. Woo! I ain't gonna lie to you folks. You see this right here? <laughs> ain't nothing here, right? Listen, we knocked them off. Now, let me just try to give you a description and I hope I don't kill it for you because what I'm gonna say might not be an accurate description, but it's something about when you put something in your mouth, you know what I mean? You kind of like inhale, right? Listen, when you do that, once you get that wing up in your mouth and you, and then when you touch it with your tongue, it almost make me think about some type of uh like Lay's barbecue type is, you know, feel to it. You know what I mean? Uh, but it's real nice having that brown sugar in there. Hey, listen, that this Creole kick, give it a nice little bite. You know what I mean? If you ask me, this is one of the better Louisiana dry rub wings. Hey, with that being said, listen, I'm gonna just say this. If you're new to my channel, let me take the time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and I want you guys to tell everybody out there, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. I usually have some kind of antic that I do and all of that, but check it out. This time I'm out. Peace.